All right, what's up, Ockrad? So we're uh, coming to you today from our new-ish studio that we're getting set up. Um, we'll have to give you a tour at some point so that you can see what this layout is. It's kind of cool. Our desk is in a closet. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> so as you've probably seen by the title of the video, it is going to be our first reaction video. And we're going to be um, reacting to Tom McDonald's new song that dropped, I think it was yesterday, right? Yeah. Dropped yesterday a balloon, so we're gonna go react to that. All right, let's get it. I miss the days when no one even knew my name. Now everywhere I go, I wear a hat to hide my face. I got weapons hidden inside every room in my place. Now I have to keep a pistol on me always. I gotta give him props for being original, though, right? I mean, what? What? Have and you? I've ever never seen a video where anyone's been in a balloon. <laughs> That's it's just in case this is a nightmare never expected the fame to be something i would wrestle with and fight to embrace sometimes i feel like the love i get's outweighed by the hate i hid the tears but i can't hide from the pain i'm working 20 hour days can't even lie to y'all i'm burnt out asleep on my weight bench trying to find the strength to work out should be happy i'm successful i just went and bought my first house Stop i was literally just gonna say what the hell are you so what are you whining about dude like you're rich, you're famous, you can't, you're working 20 hours a day. I mean, geez, if, I don't know, is he really working 20 hours a day, do you think? I mean, I mean, if he wants to get his videos, like, I mean, perfect, no doubt, like, try to this, this, stuff, it. this stuff takes a long time. Yeah, I'm thinking, I think he's kind of over exaggerating with the 20, uh, 20 hours, but. It is just a song. Yeah, it is. Money would help cure my depression, but it's worse. How? I'm tired of it. Lucky I don't have a manager because I'll be firing them. Tired of talking to other artists who just want to tell me I'm inspiring them. Parents keep telling me they have a kid and they're thankful the child is admiring me. Great. Want to know how I feel? I might kill myself before retiring. I'm in the clouds. I can't reach the ground. They're coming in crowds. Blew me up like a balloon and let me go. Watch me float away while I scream no Every time I get close, they pull out their phones Like maybe this time we can see them explode The beat sounds familiar. It sounds like another song of his. I don't know which one it is. I feel like most of his songs are kind of like with the same like type of beat. But like I, I can like definitely tell like that is like another song, like another beat. Song. Similar, similar, yes, right? I don't very know which similar. one I'm not. It just also like, like that, um, there was the one part where he said like, <clears throat> Going up to the clouds, cannot touch the ground. That kind of reminded me of like the song "Don't Look Down." Like that one was a good one. Oh yeah, that like, was a good way one. where he was that in the clouds and stuff. I'm thinking he's kind of like kind of referring to that song as well. Blew me up like a balloon and let me go. They are throwing rocks because they trying to poke holes. They want to see me pop. They don't want to see me blow. For the reason that I'm gone, they don't want to see me go. Blew me up like a balloon and left me. I miss the times when I could go outside. I didn't have to watch my back out of the corner of my eye. I didn't have to fake a smile and post for pictures all the time. Can't even lie, I miss when time was really mine. Now I just belong to everybody else but me. These, oh, wait. These panic attacks are making it awful hard to breathe. Built a vocal booth inside the crib and stop making beats. Don't even rap. I stand inside of it and scream. Like this is. Wow, dude. I didn't even know there's a lot to unpack there. <clears throat> yeah. I feel like he's just saying, like, that maybe, like, I mean, money. There, you can't there, buy happiness. Yeah, and, there's, a, there's a lot of like, burden He's got like there, right? fame and uh, money, and he's just. I he just like, he still can't find himself, is where he's going. Yeah, he that. can't find himself past depression or something like that. So he's kind of like saying, like, money, like the, the main purpose of it is like money cannot buy happiness. happiness. Yeah, I, I agree with that. This is not what I expected. I worked my hands to the bone. And my anxiety is triggered by the apps on my phone. I tried deleting them so the internet would leave me alone. But the lack of attention made me feel worse than before. <laughs> Think about that. You you can't I mean once you start once you start down this path and you get millions of followers and, and all that, it, it, how, you don't get you don't go back. You know what I mean? You don't go back to normal life. Especially with like what he was saying about walking down the street. And uh, not, ha you know, everybody's going to run up to him. Everybody's going to say, hey, he's going to have to watch his back for people that hate him and all that stuff. So I get that. Yeah. Sick of it all. The 
internet watching me trip when I fall Embarrassed that everyone witnesses all My illness is in real time, man I'm addicted to y'all Rappers on Twitter don't get me involved I'm posing for photos with fans in the mall And dying inside pretending I'm strong I'm not a celebrity, I am just tall When every Friday wasn't spent with my therapist Then I realized I hated fame and accepted I'm scared of it I got Ativan, Ciprolex, Xanax, and Seroquel In a Tupperware container I don't touch, I just stare at them Breathing exercises supposed to help me to cope But nothing works quite as good as a bottle of Jack and a smoke I try to focus on my breath but it gets stuck in my throat This never happened back when I was young and happy and broke I never So there's a lot to be said for that too Cause like... <clears throat> Everything he just said, he ended with, you know, I wish that I could go back to when I was happy and broke, right? Because, like, I feel like there's times in my life where I could go back to and just have it be just that simple, happy, not much, I mean, playing cards, you know, doing real simple stuff. Now it seems like everything's complicated, right? And I think he's, <laughs> obviously his thing's overcomplicated, you know? Never thought I'd be the rapper all these rappers trying to be. Posting 20 times a day, now I don't have no privacy. Meeting with these major labels, CEOs with giant teams. If y'all want to do business, why are y'all trying to lie to me? I'm bored of the fame. Every time it feels fresh again, I'm getting more of the same. Interviewers think they know who I am. They made up their mind before I explain. Well, because you asked so nice, I guess I'll tell. Ain't been feeling too hot lately, Jim. Is there anything else? Great, because lately, every day, I feel like I'm living in hell. I'm glad the music helps you, but I might really kill my Myself. When this magazine gets printed, can you send one to my house? I'd like to own a tiny piece of me like everybody else. Whoa, that was fire, dude. <laughs> can you send a magazine to me so I can own a piece of me like everybody else? Wow. Dude, so he... Yeah. I mean, they're not privacy things. He, he... Like, he's getting... I feel like that... I feel like what he meant by, like, the... Like, no privacy things posting 20 times a day. I feel like it's, um... Like notifications, like that he's just always getting, and he's could just be. Like, could be. like tired of it. Could be, but now, but but like, but like, he's definitely he's definitely got a hole that he's not able to fill inside of his soul, and mm -hmm. music, and fame, and all that. Everything that he's he is is not is not cutting it. I mean, he, I've listened to interviews of Tom McDonald and. You know, all the issues he's going through with his girlfriend and, you know, some of her health challenges and all that kind of stuff and going through this pandemic and worrying about her getting sick and all that. And then, I mean, just, I just couldn't even, yeah. Yeah, it's deep, man. It's deep. It's the other side, right? It's the other side of where we are now. Right now we've got, what, five followers? Ten, thirty followers? I don't even know. So, I don't even know. But it's... It's not many, and the, you know, we walk down the street, nobody knows who we are, and we don't care. But yeah, ironic. I think he, yeah, he's live right now, which is kind of ironic, right there. It says right there, he's live. New video balloons out now. Oh, he's live right now. Yeah, right now. The oh, dude, should we jump over? Yeah, there? jump over there. All right, let's do it. We, this is not necessarily reaction. That's I guess that song's almost over anyway. But let's, let's see what the live's These about. Destinations in our heads, and. For me, it was, oh, I want to get 10,000 likes on my fan page, or I want to get 10,000 views on a video, or I want to uh, get 10,000 streams. We set these sort of destinations. For other people, it's like, oh, I want to um, be a first-year carpenter. I want to be a second-year carpenter. I want to be a journeyman carpenter, or I want to um, I want to get the nice car, or I want to get the nice house, or I want to get a dog, or I want to get this, I want to get that. We set these destinations for ourselves in our heads, and you start arriving at these destinations, whether that's 
10,000 views or the nice car or the nice house, whatever, we, we start to arrive at these destinations and nothing changes. We have this idea of who we're going to be when we get there. Oh man, life's going to be so much better when I get this or when I get that, or I'm going to feel so much yeah. better when I get I'm there or when I do that. Or, but you never really feel any different. I know for sure yeah, that so me sure. at 1,000 likes compared to me at 100,000, compared to me at a million followers, compared to me at 10 million, it's, I don't feel any different. I'm literally the exact same guy who started out this journey 10 years ago. But we, we project that like, when I reach this destiny, when I reach 100,000 likes, I'll feel different. When I reach a million likes, I'll feel different. When I reach 10 million, I'll feel different. Life's gonna be like this. Nothing ever changes. You, you. All of these, all of these uh, destinations that we set for ourselves, we never reach those destinations. We never actually truly arrive anywhere, ever. Well, he's saying we just keep like going down the fucking road of life forever, thinking that we're gonna arrive at, at, a, at a destination and you never arrive. Little laggy since it's live. Yeah. But what uh, a perfect actually that's pretty good that it's kind of laggy but not at the same time. But it just the stuff he's saying is. I feel just, bad for him. Really. I feel bad. Yeah. But he's just. He's just been, yeah. There we go. I got another <laughs> phone call. Um, <laughs> what I was saying is we never actually uh we never arrive at this at this fictional destination that we've set in our minds eventually one day you just arrive at the end of your life and then you just look back on shit and you're like yo fuck it wasn't about the fucking destination it was literally about the fucking journey it's about the ride yo that's all there is there's I'm no end saying, point always, there's just like a long ass like, trip and then there's right fucking now. the end of your life you live for right now this so i'm doing happen. my best to stop looking to forward to destinations and stop living like that and just start enjoying the fucking wild ride you guys um, can't see the live chat though but to, you know, just start enjoying the fucking wild ride that we're that we're on and like oh, look out true. the fucking window once in a while and appreciate the things that are going on around you and be present and um live now for right now bro and just be present live in the now wow that's like cool. definitely right there. you know one thing that i've learned is that like depression tends to come from living in He's the past, 11. negative emotions from the Tom, past, the music and anxiety just, tends like, to come from fear the, of things that could happen in the future. And the only way to truly battle either one of those things is to live in the present and be right now. If you can be right now, you are invincible yep. to the negativity of the fr from the past, and you are invisible of fear from the future you just have to be present and live in the now 100 percent. and right now we're number 10 on itunes bitch <laughs> <laughs> um right? no but for real um just be present and uh that's uh, just one of the most important fucking parts of life man so wait somebody said is that a smoke alarm chirping yeah man get Fuck a fucking nine volt alarm. son um, I'm too busy working to the ladder, grab bro. the ladder, climb the ladder, and uh, switch the fucking batteries on the thing. That's um, what you gotta do. <laughs> I actually don't even think it is the batteries. The One day I was moving like a backdrop or something out of <laughs> I hate it when the storage closet, like and I whacked the fucking I whacked the uh, fire extinguisher with with this right, giant backdrop that I was gonna, carrying, and it's just been beeping ever since. You want to keep going? So I don't even know if I don't even know switching the battery is gonna fucking work. Um, but yeah. All right. right. Peace out, Tom Peace and Donald. Peace out, Tom. That's a great message, man. And <sighs> listen to it. I'm supposed to be uh, lifting Apple, weights and working out right now, but I just, I just decided right. to come on here, Live and I just today. decided to scream at everybody, uh, today, life advice, and download my song and watch my video. But oh, that's really. <laughs> well, I'm doing live stuff. That's right really my life, man. To do. So, all, right. all right. Anyway, peace out. Peace out, guys. Good, good uh, video. We're gonna yeah. watch it again. Uh, you never, you never catch everything on the first round, but uh, we'll watch it again. And uh, peace out. Walk right out. Peace.